Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. This is Operation Driving Grave. Gotta protect the device. Uh, it's a moderate difficulty mission. Um, hopefully, we can get this engineer with Cola, Eternal Chill, Al Shigardi, Rodats, and one, I guess one on one or one by one? One on one, I think. We're going into the subways. Let's motor. Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. that the resistance has been pulling data critical to the aliens latest project from the advent network using something they rigged up in this area everybody looks so serious tell, in here the aliens have figured out what's going on and they're sending reinforcements in to destroy the device we're moving in to secure the area and protect the device before they manage to take it out okay let's go the last protect the device we didn't have guys attacking it i'm hoping that by uh Unsubscribing and resubscribing to a better advent and a better campaign fixes that. I'm hoping that that resolves that issue, but there's only one way to find out. There's only one way to find out. Uh, direct approach, usually pretty good. Let's uh, take a peek here. I'd like to actually utilize our concealment if we can. Okay, all seems good over here. I go quickly. Al Shigardi, take that. Ooh, this is good. Let's um we'll send Rodats way in. Getting it done. I can make Zoe, it. Zoe. Bringing up the rear. Ready to kill. Ooh, hello. Yeah, okay, it's working. Jesus. It's hard. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's working. This is obviously way better. <laughs> Closing on target position now. Ooh. Enemy sighted. Ooh, what are we dealing with here? Muton Infector. That's great. Advanced Gunslinger and Advent Assault. Seems, seems good. All right. I'm gonna tuck Rodats right in here. Watch my back. I'll bring Cola around this direct. side. Is tuck Magnuson in here. Shigardi, I want you on the full cover Keep corner. Powell, I'm gonna require your assistance in here most likely. Let's do this. And Vinther Morgan. Let's tuck I you pass. in here. Alright. This has gotta be quick. No, they're running away. Why? Oh, look at this too. The problem is, I don't know how much health that thing has. Do I? No, oh, I have no idea, somehow. That's cool. Alright. I can get in here... ...and... Let's do this. We can toss this down. The trap is set. It's unfortunate that I only see him. Um Moving to position. I don't love this position at all, but I think this is gonna be the play. I think it's gotta be. Take this. 
Let's go. Hopefully Rodats doesn't get revealed. Like, he's covered from left end. Okay, Gunslinger's down. This is good. It's a S load of damage. That is so sick. Oh, that's cool. Ah! <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. If I run in here, he's going to counterattack me. So... I think we're better off going this way. I think we just triggered that other group, though. But it's got to be done. We've got to get these kills. PCS conditioning and a repeater. Nice. Advent forces there. All right. Well, it does draw the attention away from that side, which is good, but everything else about it is terrible. Okay. I might have to try and pull one of these guys. 59 kind of sucks. 35 on this infector. Hmm. Ooh. Eight damage, though, we need on him. That's not going to happen. The nice thing about going up here is these guys can't see me. This is a tough one. Alright. I think I'm gonna pull... Frick. See, but I don't have cover here either. Or do I? No, that's cover. Tactical I'm going up. Objective in range. Oh shit. Minus one five, we've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all. So costs. these guys see us? Oh no, they don't. Okay, weird. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Now if I go in there, again, same thing, right? He should have a counterattack, assuming he works like other mutons. Now we just need three magical damage somehow that I'm not convinced we can get. Let's do this. Oh, maybe. Magnuson, if I could promote you right now, dude. Who's keeping score? I would. Like, immediately. Whoa, this is weird, all of a sudden. Alright. Okay, you see down, the Viper down. and the Celetid down at the end there? I'm gonna parry. I don't want to regret this, but I might. So there's the first attack. Maybe the Warlock does some weird Psy thing. The Trooper's pulling back. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, the Warlock's going for this thing. Okay, okay. And now we've got action from these bros. Great. Well. That surprise flank up here scared the hell out of me, but made it. Still made it. You will fight on. Um I could do ooh. Ooh, that would be dirty. Pull me back there. The thing is, I don't know where we land when we do that. Do we take their place? 
Or am I just going to be, like, standing there in the open? Probably just standing there in the open. However. All right, I'll go. Heather. Heather, I'm feeling good about this. Am I worried about the trooper or the viper? Probably the... Well, it's an advanced trooper. He does more damage. Get ready for and he's kind of flankable. Whereas the viper's behind that pillar, so... Okay, Warlock's exposed as well. 85. I think we gotta take it. Let's go, Al. Oh, mother! Alright. That was basically the chosen miss from last time. Uh, Rodats. Very kind of you. Come on, buddy. Oh, my Lanta team. My training fails me. I'm getting stressed. Getting stressed. We can no longer hide. This is a problem. This is a problem. It says six to eight, but it takes more. Way more aggressive than I'd like to be. Okay. We can kill that warlock or we can kill the viper. I think we kill the warlock. But do we retreat or parry there is the real question. Who else do we have? This is it. Okay. I think I'm gonna do this. Actually, Hold on, what I might do, whoops. With Cola, I wonder if I just bring her, like, right here. Okay, like, yeah, we have the pupa, that could suck. Maybe the Viper, maybe this guy, but this trooper, if he moves, he dies. Or if he does anything, he'll die. If I go here, then I'm flanked by the Viper, which I don't like at all. I'm gonna go here. Then I'm gonna pull down to this side. And see if I can pull anybody. I'm not gonna take the shot on this trooper. I can't pull these others. Oh, oh, so close. All right, let's see what happens. If the pupil walks toward her too, also in trouble. So let's see how this goes down. Oh boy. Come on, baby. Nice job. It's overwatching. It's gonna wrap him. Ow. 
poison cloud. Wait, where's he going? Oh, is he poison clouding this thing? Celatid, no. Oh, it... <laughs> uh, that's really funny. I don't know what that one's doing. The creator of the Celatid, um, like, uh, uh, mod, he's... It, He's pretty active in the Discord, and he was saying that, uh, he's decreasing the spawn rates because they seem to show up all the time. Uh, they didn't show up in the last mission, which was just kind of cool. Are you... Just off the for mark. real, though? I'll need more ammo soon. Are you for real, though? I wonder if we take an overwatch shot crossing here. Like crossing with, uh, Wrath. I actually have no idea. Get off my friend. No longer bound. This might sting a wee bit. Let's heal. And you have shadow steps. Let's go in and show this guy what's up. Oh, really? Really? Let's just take this. Oh! <laughs> Magnuson is literally two amazing shots that I would never expect to actually hit. Nice job. Now, hold on here. We have, uh... Oh, no. I didn't get Arc Wave yet, did I? Deflect. Reflect. Sustain. Momentum. Overcharge. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. A focus strike of power! So strong. This class is so strong. There Going for no it. First time ever using Wrath. And we failed. <laughs> <laughs> it failed horribly. Okay, cool. Great skill. I'm going. The amount of high percentage shots that we've missed and the low percentage shots that we've hit, it's kind of mind-blowing. See? I don't know, man. That's so funny Happy sometimes. Now. That's XCOM, baby. Ooh, that was sick. Good job, team. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. That was fun. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. MVP, I mean, Cola pretty much pff, picks up MVP every time. It's almost not fair, you know? Uh, Chill, do we not have a poster for you? I wish there was a way to, like... Can we do something like this to get those out of the way? With a mug like that, you might get Advent to surrender after all. I mean... Why are these all... I'm pretty sure that we've taken pictures of these guys. If they've been on missions before, we would have taken pictures. Who knows? I like that pose for the snipers. Yeah, okay, something's... Something's weird with the photos, but hopefully by doing this again, it's all gonna be good. Rodat's looking badass. Shoot him looking... Shoot looking upwards, it makes them look a little bit more imposing. Yeah, like, Cola, for sure, we've definitely taken pictures of her, so...
Oh well. Oh, select photo maybe. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. That's weird, I don't know why that would have changed, but it's all good. This is why playing with mods is strange. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refused Good mission, team. To oh, that flank shot, the though. Oh, uh, I was clenching my butt cheek so hard. You know what that tells me? It's like, we need armor, and we need armor them. bad. grateful to the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. 60% shot percentage. The ones we did hit were like 50% and the 80s were misses. It's great. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study, having already <laughs> surpassed some of our other soldiers' capabilities. Yes, Tygen, this is true. This is true. Kill zone. Ah, uh, maybe. Blood trail. If they've been wounded, remote start. Yep. Shigardi. I don't think that was his first mission. I'm pretty confident that it's not. Yeah, two missions. And let's go... I know we said we need armor, but... I mean, like, the actual armor upgrades. Repeater? Uh, what should we do about repeaters, guys? I, I kind of struggle with it, because... They're like a key part of the game, but if we kit out correctly, like, they just become super strong. I think there is a mod that makes repeaters have a chance, like, instead of having it be an instant kill, they have a chance to do additional damage. Hello, Maybe that's the kind of middle ground, you know? Oh, damn. Damon Knights. That is the coolest looking engineer I've ever seen in my entire life. Welcome to the squad, Damon Knights. It's one of you guys. Uh, what can I even do with you? I guess, um... Start digging. <laughs> Jeez. Only 90 days. It'll be fine. Alright. Uh, power relay, debris, gauss weapons. That's right. Gauss weapons was inspired. Fire axis, get it. Another scientist. This is good, actually. Avenger the signal jamming course. should wear off soon, I think. And it'll make these scanning times less BS. It's gone! <laughs> Alright. I don't think I've ever been so happy. Alright. Uh, Julian is back fully as well. And so it would seem time grow short for both of us. Come back. We're plotting new Let's hit the scientist. Next research has to be resistance radio, now right? Now operational. It's just gotta be, like. Okay, let's send the other engineer in here, Astrid. Nice. That is done. Actually, what are we going to build? Let's do, uh... Proving ground... Resistance comms... I think proving ground... We could do resistance comms over here in 10 days. The, and the most important thing is actually the radio, not so much the ability to contact more people. Because once I get the areas right around us, we need the radios to expand anyway, so. Or the training center is also important here. Mm. We need the proving ground to, rec to do, like, crucial things, though. But this will unlock so much potential as well. I think I'm going to do... Man, frick, I actually don't know what I should do here. I could build both and then build resistance comms when that's when the next one's done. Let's 
do the proving ground. To the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. And I can put somebody in here to go plus five. We have actually quite a few engineers right now. Feeling pretty good about that. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. All right. Mag cannon, Gauss rifle, Temnotic rifle, Helix rail cannon. Rapid excavation. What is this? It will allow the next excavation project to be completed instantly. Oh, Like, I have to do that. That's so good. That saves us like 90 days. I'm doing it. Oh my god. Priority. That is, I, that's cool. I've never seen that before. Together, we have succeeded. Okay, everyone's back. Our unified resistance continues to learn a great deal about these chosen that pursue us. Slowly but steadily, our faith in your word so grows, Commander. So we got Commander. Deeper Learning 2, New Faction Order. And uh, we've got Hunt the Chosen Assassin Part 2, Counter Chosen Activity. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill. Oh, wow. And now the resistance can take on more responsibility, should you need it. That's pretty good. That's Our pretty good. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. That's pretty good. Um, resource rewards in all missions increased by fifteen. That's not bad. We could counter their activity. Gather intel. Ability points. Let's see, are there any promotions? Right here, ability points and a free promotion as well. I'm mostly in interested in intel or promotions. So I think let's take this one. Who can we, who do we want to promote? We could do, uh, one of our top guys obviously should go in here. Man, do we just wait for Durand? Like, if we do intel for six days, then we come back and get the ability points with uh, Cola. I think that's what we do, actually. Okay. Uh, man, Janiello, you're going back in. But I'm giving you the bonuses. Uh, Nathan Stryker and a scientist. Uh, let's put Lowry in. There you go. We'll take the intel, then we'll double back and get the ability points with the promotion on Cola, I guess. It makes sense to like, to stack those as much as we can, I think. Because as you get higher level, it's much harder to get promoted. So to take a free one is pretty nice. Okay, Magnuson Stevens, level two bond here. We need, we need that training center to do all this, so. It's gonna be a bit. That's okay. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. They've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of oh time. Oh my god. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress. This is gonna on the be a project. This is gonna be We're a bit of an slow issue. Them down. We'll need to move fast. This is definitely gonna be an issue. Uh the good news is, is like we're not super far. Well, okay, we're a little bit far. Because this is Skirmature HQ. This is not um, a facility. So we're going to have... We go here or here. And I can make contact here. It's just really expensive. Reducing income. Child. That's fine. All who stand in defiance are to be purged. Honor be damned. Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the chosen running loose. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. So there's every time we recruit somebody, somebody new moves into the pool. Liu Zhang is sitting at the bottom now. Iris Arna Datur 
is going to join the team. I don't mince words now we got Franco Baltazar down the here. Skirmishers are no different. I don't trust them. And I don't like sending my people out hand in hand with them. That said, they're definitely loyal. Got a lot of armor on, I see. Well protected. Hell of a fight. Okay, Iris Spades Arnada Trier. I'm probably butchering that. Iris was born in the Icelandic countryside to two loving parents. She was their second child, not planned, but nonetheless appreciated. The economy was scarce. Her father, a humble horsekeeper and farmer, and her mother, a part-time teacher in the nearby village. They had trouble supporting her five-year-old brother and themselves, uh, and were understandably worried about another mouth to feed. But they got by, and they were never well off. From an early age, Iris showed a love for and skills with a stack of cards. Uh, fueled by an interest to learn more kinds of games, it soon became apparent that she was somewhat of a prodigy at it, skilled at reading her opponent and always being one step ahead. At the age of six, she competed in her first card competition. She didn't win, but she beat adults with significant more experience than her. In the following years, she kept competing and winning. She was able to bring in some well-needed funds for the family, and everything was idyllic for a while, until the invasion hit Earth. She was ten at the time the aliens came to Iceland. Her father and her brother were out in the fields caring for the horses when the aliens showed up. Little is known about what actually happened, but their bodies were found the day after. Stricken with grief, she closed herself up, became more and more... Er, it became more cold and calculating. As a way of dealing with it, she turned to poker, a game she previously had stayed clear of. She got into some rough crowds during her teenage years, but became a well-known and respected player, one that was hard to beat. She earned the nickname Spades, and that's what everybody knew her as. The tattoos she has not only shows off her love for card games, but the king on her left arm is a tribute to her father and brother. She still seeks revenge to this day, waiting for the opportunity to strike, biding her time. What? That is sick! You incorporated the story with, like, custom tat. That is really cool. <laughs> that is so cool, man. That is so cool. Okay, Grenadier or Ranger or Sharpshooter. I think we'll go Ranger. Seems like a badass, like, Ranger person. Yeah. Retaliation, your baby. Your friends realize that their fate hinges only on your return to the Elder's grass. Now, I don't want to bring Cola because I don't want her to be tired for that guaranteed promotion. So, let's have everybody sit down. I don't even think she's available, actually. Yeah, 29 hours. Okay, perfect. Um, how difficult. Difficult. All right. Let's bring let's bring our top dogs here. I think. Um, Billy. Let's go. Let's bring Rodats, and we can bring our Sparko. He's a big. He's a tank, right? And now that we've got that full cover, is pretty cool. Let's do the Gauss Rifle. Can't do the Mag Can. I don't have the supplies, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. At least we have the Gauss Rifle. Mag Cannons, you're mostly here for explo explosions anyways, Doc, so if you don't mind. Now we're getting three Med Kits. That is like, once you hit the three Med Kit place, oh, that feels good. That feels very good. What are the upgrades that we have? Advanced laser sight and repeater. Uh, so... Rumble, guess what? You get the advanced laser sight, buddy. And the repeater... Uh... Man, you actually... The spark makes a pretty good candidate for a repeater. It's only 5%. But I think we're gonna change how repeaters operate. The free instant kills is just too easy to manipulate once you get superior repeaters and uh, some of the skills where you're like blasting off with your um, reapers. So I think we'll, we'll change that. I'll just have to figure out which mod it is. I don't have any uh, PCS. Oh, I do have one. We just picked up the conditioning. That's right. Um, 
Okay. I think just in honor of you being up close and having to deal with stuff, Rumble, you take it. All right. So, uh, Doc, Huntsman, Rumble, Billy Terror, Rodat, Julian. Wish me luck, guys. We're going to see you soon. And uh, take care. Goodbye.